Thank you for including us in this, Elliot. <laughs> Alright, so let's go to Eagleson's gun store. Now, uh, what are we going for the gun store for? Are we just getting more information on the gun, or... Yeah. Information on the gun? Yeah, that one. So we'll go, we'll go to the store, and then we'll go to Kalu. Why are they have the sirens on? There's a gun sale! <laughs> <laughs> 50% off on bullets! Oh boy, bullets! <laughs> 10% off of a shotgun! What a chip! <laughs> oh yeah, um, you can even scratch the car if you if you hit it on its side. Christ! You don't care who gets in your way, do you? Yeah, your your side, your passenger. <laughs> oh <fuck>. yeah! <laughs> you're, Jackpot! You're a loose cannon. <laughs> <laughs> I love the collision in this game, my god. They really nailed the collision on here. <laughs> the move for a cola keg. Eric on the Eagleson's. Sporting goods. They sell, they sell baseballs here? No, they sell bats to kill when you don't want to make a noise with a gun. <laughs> what can I do you for? Officers Phelps and Dunn, sir. Wilshire Division. We need you to trace a serial number. Sure. What's the make and model? FN Browning, model 1922. The serial number is 01138. You don't say. Well, I didn't sell it. Europeans love them, but it's pretty rare you find one over here. Although I did have one in here a couple weeks back. Remember the owner? Yeah. <laughs> Kalu. Edgar Kalu <laughs> was his name. Thing looks like he'd never been fired, but he brought it in here for cleaning anyway. Then he bought a box of cartridges and he left. You know where we can find Mr. Kalu? Told me he was on his lunch break. Said he worked at Hartfield Jewelry Store just up on the uh, road. on a lunch break. I hate That's that. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. It's <laughs> probably drinking some Cola King, too. I'd really love some Cola King right Massive now. Massive square footage. Alright. Now we are, we are going to Hartfield Jewelry Store. Come it's so amazing how Cole's, felt, Cole's GP, GPS works like that. <laughs> you gonna hijack a car? What? You can actually hijack a car and he says for police investigations. You well, he, does, he doesn't. You know, he's not really hijacking. He's quote unquote borrowing. Commandeering. Exactly. Commandeering. Thank you. That's a good word. That's what I was looking for. Oh, that was fast. Here at the Hard Road Shuttle Restore, 2:36 p.m. Quality meats, the best in town. Yeah. I heard they're actually one star. <laughs> right. Officer, can I interest you in a new watch? Who is this guy? Officer Cole Phelps, are you Edgar Kalu? Uh, no. Uh, Mr. Kalu is out back. He said he'd lie down. I'll buzz him for you. Why do you have to lie down? <laughs> Son of a bitch! Go, Cole, go! Did you guys see that coming? Yeah, I thought I told this. Yeah. Coming. Hey, look at me! <laughs> Th this is something we're gonna do a lot. Okay, now I have my gun. You're gonna try you know, to pick him off? You know he's carrying one, that's why. If we do that, we hold it on for for some time. Oh, we'll fire a warning shot and he'll stop. Yeah, yeah that's actually an achievement, but it's kind of hard to do. You the fucking son of a bitch! If he gets too far away from you, though, the chase ends in failure. Yeah. Can I try it again, Elliot? Should be good. Here. Got him. What if it was a car backfire? <laughs> hey, buddy, stop. You are under arrest for the murder of Everett Gage. <laughs> he had it all with a jewelry store. And look at that shit eating he's, grin. He's so der <laughs> He's derping. He's derping. <laughs> no, he's got a shit eating grin. Yeah, we did good. Did you see what we did? We yeah. did that. Yeah, I went. You went. And you went after the perp. Fired a warning shot in the air and got all the did all the work. Me, I made sure that car was full of gas and a box of donuts waiting for you. I didn't know if you like your coffee black, you black or brown. Size so surprise. The one you never solve. The one that keeps you awake at night. The case that gnaws at your guts and ruins your marriage. Damn, really? really? The case that keeps you propping up a bar as you relive the what ifs, the might have beens, the half leads, and the half truths. The case that other cops murmur about whenever you walk past. The case you never, ever discuss. God's mill may grind slowly, but it grinds finely, son. 
I hear it's you who nabbed our malefactor from the shooting yesterday. Yes, sir. Then tell me, Boyle. I hear you're quite the climber, a man of initiative. How would you like a chance at smiting this man with the sword of justice? I got a sword? <laughs> you're asking me to, to conduct the interview, sir? I am, young Phelps. You've only been with us a short time and you've assembled yourself a stellar arrest record. Oh. Not to mention the fine work you did in the war, sending heathens back to the hell they came from. But I'm curious as to whether you can turn your hand to interrogation. It takes a certain animal coming, lad. Do you think you might be ready for that? Yes, sir. I think I am. Good man. I thought, I thought, at first I thought he was going to slap him, saying, that's not good enough! Are you ready? <laughs> motive, opportunity. Then he gets PTSD with his army days. <laughs> best of all, a confession. I'll go in there, lad, the form, or I'll slap you with me, mighty shillelagh. How are you feeling, lad? Fine, sir. Very good. The evidence is overwhelming. May the cat eat him and the cat be eaten by the devil. Bring nice. me a confession, young Phelps. Poor cat. <laughs> this is your chance. Choked on the gold. Don't fail me. <laughs> all right, shit heel. This is how it's going to work. You're going to give me a phony confession. I'm going to get promoted off to this LAPD. We right are living happy days. Lawyer. A lawyer can't help you, Mr. Kalu. You shot a man dead in cold blood. You're going to have to pay for that. You followed Everett Gage and a girl back to the shoe store. You put five rounds in Gage's back. Gage was a was a bastard. Whatever he got, he got what was coming. But it had nothing to do with me. Just like the time I heard that one guy saying it had nothing to do with the with him chaining sawing the guy in the deck. He, despite what his claims, he had no right to do it. So we sent him to jail too. Wow. We can tell he's lying. You though. shot Gage, and we know why. We can put you at the scene. You can't prove anything. <laughs> This book says you're lying. <laughs> <laughs> we know all about the argument. Miss Galetta made a statement. You're you're counting on the girl? You think her testimony is going to stand up? I don't know why, but he looks so familiar to me. Going to the gas chamber. He reminds me of my third grade. Jew hating fuck teacher. couldn't leave me alone. Grade, grade. I had a sale. That girl was ready to buy. Jew hating fuck, lovely. Yeah. Let's change the subject. This is right down in the notebook. <laughs> you fasting for young before, Mr. Cole? Yeah, let's change Works the subject. Works in a drawer, motherfucker. Oh my. How about baseball? You're not denying you're a Jew, Mr. Kalu. <laughs> this is America. It's not Germany. It's not a crime. Some people don't like Jews, Mr. Kalu. Yeah, and I guess you're one of them. Gage hated Jews, didn't he, Mr. Kalu? I don't know what you're talking about. Bullshit. You left-wing leaning parasite. You expect me to <laughs> take <laughs> on you, dribble. You call me that? You sit there and you call me those names, you goddamn goy butt snatcher. You and that I thought he called him a butt snatcher. Why not do it, Mr. Kalu? Gage. He's in the butt Chamber snatchers. of Commerce. He's in with all those momsers. He blocked every proposal I ever put forward. Kike this and kike that. He's been trying to ruin my business for years. Edgar Kalu, I'm charging you with the first degree murder of Everett Gage. I respect your beliefs and your right to hold them. I hope for your sake the jury can commute to murder in the second degree. May God have mercy on you, sir. That's what he did? He's, there's no mercy. Yeah, exactly. Whether well, shooting a man over your religious beliefs or chainsawing a guy in the dick for being Master attacked for the <laughs> like that guy. It is just Officer Thoms. Isn't it, lad? Yes, sir. Then let me have a word with the Chief of Police, young Phelps. The department needs heroes. A shining, honest face the public can admire. I applaud a man with your talent for unwavering justice. Back to your duties for now, Boyle. But here's a piece of advice. Get yourself two suits, get them pressed. You'll be needing them. I like where that's going. First time I saw this scene, I thought he was going to jump for joy in freeze frame. <laughs> Click his heels together. That's yeah, what exactly, I was thinking. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Congratulations, Elliot. You managed to pass your Los Angeles Police Department fitness report. Now we get promoted. And that's why it's a video game, folks. In reality, it'd be hard to pass all you. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so we've been promoted. Let's see what we've been promoted to. Ah, what are the way for, what are we for Troll Phelps in a big in a big sleazy? Would it be traffic? Would it be arson, vice, or homicide? Mascot! <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch, he is a mascot. <laughs> Here's our first real case.
Here's your new desk, kid. You're on traffic. The hot sheet is posted here, next to the map. What's his problem? That's Biggs. He's an institution. So this is what all the fuss is about. Why couldn't they build a freeway that goes past my place? They haven't even approved the money yet, kid. The bond issue won't be till December. It'll be years before any of this will happen. Here's your new partner, Stefan Burkowski. I've heard all about you, Phelps. You go easy on me and let me earn the odd citation, and maybe we'll get along fine. I'm here to learn, detective. <laughs> oh, he's an intense one, isn't he, Mel? It's intense. The newly minted detective that here, Cole Phelps. Bag. Hi, Phelps. I'll be keeping an eye on you. I could spend a little time basking in reflected glory. Make a change from busting hookers and dope fiends. Vice. Yeah, who was that? Commander? Roy Earl, chief detective and advice. They all dress like movie stars? Well, Roy is a movie star. And the whole of the seedy side of L.A. is his audience. <laughs> what is that supposed to mean? Stick with me, kid. You'll find out. Now, question. Uh, tutorial cases. Now some housekeeping. With the ones where Warm you're the central yeah. division. Welcome cases. for Detective yeah. Cole Phelps. So if you Phelps. decide to skip that, you'd start here. Yep. Yep. Some okay. of you guys may know Phelps. He's the cop who broke the jewelry store murder. Stand up and take a bow, Phelps. If it's all right with That's you, sir. That's an order, Phelps. Damn. Day one on the force, you already failed to take a bow, you fucking tosser. <laughs> Phelps is one of only two serving LAPD officers who received the Silver Star during the war. One of two? You really gave it to those lousy Japanese, eh, Phelps? Uh, I did my best, Captain. Why are you war heroes always so modest? I've partnered Phelps with everybody's favorite pole, Stefan Bukowski. <laughs> Hope you like work, kid. Bukowski sure as hell doesn't. Well, that's why we have partners, right? <laughs> okay, okay, can it, guys. Stick with Bukowski. He's a good cop. He knows traffic inside now. I'm gonna start you out with one case. You do okay, I'll give you a couple more. You screw up, you'll be rousting vagrants and running license plates. Now get down to the PE Freight Depot, 6th and Alameda. A patrolman called in a suspicious vehicle. Signs of foul play. See what you can find out. Come on, folks. Go on, Boy Scout. Now one thing, everyone always wears the same suits. Are you gonna, are you gonna switch around and make them look dapper? I can't actually. I actually got some of the suits, but we'll go through that later. I said we bust in there and find the goddamn evidence. They really push. Are there the like alternate that. skins you can wear? Um, some of them are for some of the other suits are for different desks. Some I already got already. So. That's that cop. Seems like. Yeah, I guess a bit of a meta question here. Um, is Ellie Noir from a technical standpoint more stable than Heavy Rain? Will we run into any? It's far more stable, but honestly, this is one of those games where I never ran into any glitches. Okay. It can happen. I mean, I ran into like two of them. Like what? So. Like um, one time I was making a shortcut, so I would go downstairs from a small bridge. Yeah. But then I would clip through the ground. Uh, okay. <laughs> down to hell. <laughs> okay. Here's a here's a dispatch call. Grew up in San Francisco. Father was in shipping. That's the glowing guy on the radar there. Yeah. That shows that there's a dispatch call going. Okay. So yeah, like I said, we're only showing this off once, just to show you what the guys like. Because in terms of story advancement, it doesn't mean anything. Oh! <laughs> Got my siren on. This week. I don't want to talk about it. Now let me get this straight. Ooh. You put the lime in the coconut? <laughs> Mix it all up? <laughs> no. We're up there all night. Great. <laughs> I like Rakowski. Finished. The Emperor Hirohito himself leading the charge again. <laughs> oh my God! <laughs> what did you do? I kept the streets of LA safe for the people. Yeah. Now I get it. Unfit for service. Ouch! You <laughs> Damn. Citation during the Zuda riot. Sounds like you had it rough. I did my job. No one is saying you didn't. I did six years as a patrolman. That's the Third time you told me. <laughs> <laughs> so what's a 459, Elliot? I have no idea. <laughs> Something and Elliot just committed a 702. <laughs> yeah, I just scratched the car, see? I really like these kind of side Up cases. on the roof, officer. He has a mask on his face. I caught sight when he shoved past me, but be careful. I saw him waving a gun. I like your facial expressions there. Gone. <laughs> Gone. 
Fuck. What is this, the fucking Wild West? <laughs> this ain't the fucking Wild West, son. <laughs> <laughs> well, they, well, Rockstar did publish Red Dead. Red Dead Redemption. Give it Woody. Make it easy on yourself. Actually, in one of the cases, you're actually able to find John Marston's hat. Really? That shit. And I found that on Did You Know Gaming. Nice. That's in um, one of the um, homicide cases, though. You he can kill armed. him with no repercussion. He was armed. I know. Like I said, you can kill the suspects with no repercussion. In fact, nine of my case, all, almost all my street cases ended this way. <laughs> <laughs> I have no mercy for those who subvert the law. Even trying to get a clown for a kid's birthday party. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to little Susie's birthday party with a 457. <laughs>